In this video, it's a follow-on from the one I did the other day about the fundamentals of Bootstrap Studio and understand what it can and what it can't do. So on here, we have uh, a year ago, what's new in Bootstrap Studio 6.3 by the Bootstrap Studio team. Um, so we go down to here and what we have is the question on about PHP and databases and things like that. Um, and another comment and then he says same. But the reason is that I've actually done this before, um, but it was quite a few years ago now. Here's PHP I've got on here on my channel. Bootstrap Studio, is it any good for server-side PHP language, which was done six years ago. So I'll go back over this and try to make people understand what what is actually going on here and why Bootstrap Studio is just a front end tool. So, so with Bootstrap Studio, it's an HTML, CSS and JavaScript tool. It's a front end development tool, which you've got to know a bit about the three triad of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And it will never be, I cannot say, in any update it doesn't have a server, so you've got to have like some sort of server that would like produce the PHP or make sure that you can see it. So as we go on here, um, and we'll go to my site, right? So if we do that, we'll open it in my website. So as you can see, the index PHP is there. And you see that all the way down there. If you take this off, and this is what you would see, exactly the same. But it's got the page, um, the index PHP. So we'll just do index.php. And we'll go back to this here. Um, we'll do that. What we'll do there is we'll just copy and paste this into an editor and oh, you've seen this before if you've followed uh, my channel for any length of time and we'll pop it in here paste right that's what you get so as you can see at the top there's no php there's none at all there's no php or anything like that so if we go back we can say, for example, do a form. So put your name in. I just put what's there. Message. Blah, blah. Are you a robot? Send the message. And when you go down, it would have sent the message. And uh, So, right, here we have the message, contact message, name, Nigel Brewster. That's what that is. And this is, um, this is the actual code. So that's the PHP at the top and the program on that I did to, uh, for this particular contact form. So as you go into this here, this is the exact same thing, but without the PHP, because this is a front end tool twig style as a front end tool. So you would need something like WAMP, and you might have seen this because it's quite a popular one, WAMP server on your computer to be able to process the PH, PHP and other backend languages. Um, so when you, when you do this, for example, you do the contact form in here, So you put in NB email NB man blah 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 send message there will not be a message to anywhere 
it'll just be that. There's not, that's not going to go anywhere because now it's become an HTML document and you don't have the PHP to be able to process that. You would be able to do it on the WAMP server. But here is exactly the same. If you think of, a, of your editor, your HTML editor, whatever you use, whether that's VS Code or you know other popular ones, Sublime Text and things like that. Um, I use RJ Text Edit or Trig Style. Um, and this is basically, it's the same with Bootstrap Studio because it's a front end tool, as is your, um, in, your HTML editor or your code editor, which the front end tools, unless you put a server with them, like something like WAMP. There are others as well. So um, just giving you a demonstration of that. So what I, I do this channel, it's always been my goal to do the channel to help people and you know, and it's trying to get it into people's minds that, you know, I'm not doing this, um, you know, like, it, it, everybody has to learn that, that this is a pure front end tool. It won't do anything on the back end. And the the uh, developers themselves, the Bootstrap Studio team, have already said this as well. So if you look at it from, this is a front end developer design studio, and then you'll be able to do all the sites you need on this way, and then, you know, down the line, put them up, see what happens, and then get some PHP or, you know, learn that as well. So once again, thanks for watching this video.